everyone and welcome to another Arduino for me tutorial. Today is actually not uh, Arduino. Today we'll be doing the Raspberry Pi. Now I did mention in an earlier video um, that I'd be doing the GPIO header pins uh, with your breadboard. So today I wanted to demonstrate that. Now um, I'll be going over the code but I won't be using this screen so don't worry about having to strain to see it. Uh, before you start this project, I suggest that you get the Kana kit if you are new to Raspberry Pi. The Kana kit is great because it comes with this little piece of paper. It's actually laminated and it lists all the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. So it's uh, really nice. It's, um, it's a very quick resource to be able to see what you... Uh, what you're gonna do with your GPIO pins. All right, so basically what I've done here is I've hooked it up so that, um, there we go. When you push the button on this breadboard, oh, sorry guys, that's better. So when you push the button on this breadboard, it actually activates this LED which will blink twice. This is wired up basically the same as every other uh, circuit. And you've just wired in your LED. So this button. is the code for your uh, that I'm using for that project. Now, this is actually in Notepad since uh, none of this would actually be valid on Python if I tried to open it in Windows uh, the, because it is specific to the Pi itself. So uh, just bear with me, the colors will be different on your Pi. I believe the imports will be orange, the false and the trues should be orange, if should be orange. Um, this whole statement while true should be orange. Um, so if you don't have the orange, then you probably messed up the, um, this here. This needs to be capital T, otherwise it will not work. This needs to be capital T for true. Uh, so yeah. So this is Python code right here. What this is, is we're importing a library. We're going to import the Raspberry Pi.gpo as GPO. And we're also going to import the time library, which allows us to do time.sleep. Um, so let's just go over a few things. Um, this first here, I'm actually not very sure what that means. I've sent a request to the Raspberry Pi forum about it, and I haven't gotten any replies yet. So I'm not sure what that means. If you can figure it out, send me a message. I'd really like to know. Thank you very much. Um, these here are creating variables. So you're creating two variables. One variable is LED, the other is button. Then you're defining this variable as pin, uh, as GPIO pin 4 and GPIO pin 14. Now, there is a bit of confusion with the numbering. If you um, want to go by this, what you have on your, uh, that little card I was showing just before this, you want to go... Okay, let's see. The If the LED is on pin 4, you want to look on the outside of the, or in the gray markings, which I'll show in the, in the, uh, in, uh, in the part after this. Okay. Now, um, this is then, you have to set up, if, I'm pretty sure all of you are pretty familiar with Arduino by now. If you're not, you can take a look at my How to Program in Arduino video. I'll have one on my channel. Check that out. Uh, this is the same as what you do in Arduino. You have to set up your GPIO pin as either an output, GPIO.output, or GPIO.input. So you need to make sure you have your GPIO set up. Again, it's the your name of your pin, which is LED. Which So then this statement here we are going means that we're going to make pin 4 an output pin and pin 14 an input pin this gpio.pud up 
I sent a request to the forums as well, and I haven't gotten an answer for that either. So I'll post it as soon as I know what that means. Um, so this while true statement, which I said is all going to be in orange, is saying that while this if so while this statement here is true, then do all this. Um, so basically what we have for our this statement here is saying if our GPIO input, the button, equals true. Now you need to make sure that you do two equal signs because one equal sign will not cut it. That means something else. You're redefining this variable as something different need to make sure it's two equal signs so that you're checking to see what this variable is okay checking on the property of the variable not setting the property so if this is true then we're gonna do GPIO dot output LED one now uh, there's two ways of output there's one and then there's zero one turns your LED on and zero turns it off okay so this is pretty much self-explanatory right here so it's gonna turn uh, pin 4 on then we're gonna do sleep now again this is the time library so we need to make sure we import the time library otherwise this wouldn't work time dot sleep and I've experimented with it and I found that one is really a good time it's what you see in the video uh, I think it, it does it pretty quickly it's it's a good time um, and then I've basically just copy and pasted it a couple times so it's gonna blink twice so it's gonna go on it's gonna wait one second it's gonna turn off it's gonna wait a second it's gonna turn on it's gonna wait a second and then it's gonna turn off again okay then this GPIO cleanup basically it cleans up your pins uh, and that's what you want to do at the end of every program that you do with your GPIO pins clean it up so it's ready for the next time you want to use them all right that's basically how this code works. Okay, so this is the um, the piece of paper that I was talking about. Right here, you can see I used uh, GPIO four, and you want to look at this number on the side of this brick in the middle, not the brick itself. That says seven. Don't go don't go by those numbers. Those numbers are actually uh, different from what you want to use and what Python uses uh, in the code. So you want to go with this GPIO four here and this GPIO 14. You also have your 5 volts. You want to put 5 volts to the circuit so that you can actually use your button and you want to have a ground and this is your ground pin there. Alright, that's basically it for this tutorial. Uh, check out my website in the link below this video and don't forget to subscri subscribe. Alright, see you guys later.